Aloha friends and welcome to War Memorial Stadium where we're here for Maui Comic Con 2022. I'm stand-up comedian Chino LaForge. Here getting in on the action as you can see. We've got vendors from all over the island as well as all over the nation. Many artists and I think we had a really successful turnout. Hi, my name is Ali Kaseki, uh, the president of the Maui Comic Con nonprofit. This is the Maui Comic Con 2022 here at the War Memorial Gymnasium. Um, the sixth time we've done this event. The War Memorial Gym is going to be closing for renovations after this, but it was here this year. Great big venue, as you can see. Um, decent turnout and uh, tons of local artists, local vendors, uh, local... Uh, actually, the headliners are, are local. David Nakayama's from Oahu. We've got uh, Amy Meberson, Agnes Garbowska, uh, Jeff Isherwood, um, Frank Cho, who's a major donor to the convention. Very grateful for his support. We've got uh, tons of local artists like uh, DJ Kavikani, Todd Bernardi, Sam Campos, Chris Lohman. So the, the Maui Comic Convention is a 501c3 nonprofit. Our mission is to hold a free to the public comic convention every year. And we have a cosplay competition. We've got uh, local artists, of course. We try to support getting local art to the community. We like to support the growth of the hobby and the, and the medium and, and getting people in love with comics and uh, the mission of literacy through comics for children. We've got many local vendors. Uh, this year we had about 20 local vendors. We've got over 30 local artists. So this year, 2022, is one of the biggest turnouts we've had so far. Coming off the heels of last year, which was one of the smallest turnouts we've had, everybody knows that's because of the global pandemic and the rolling lockouts and whatever. You know, that uh, that definitely impacted attendance last year. Nobody was really going out of their houses at that time. But this year, it's actually one of our biggest uh, years for attendance. Awesome, I'm here with Patty Lee at Maui Comic Con. And uh, the coolest part about sponsoring Comic Con is the fact that we get to help artists expose themselves to the world and like <laughs> just show off what they got. So I'm here with Patty Lee of Ocean Black. Yes. Hi. <laughs> and what is Ocean Black? So Ocean Black is an animated series, um, television show that's in the works, very early stages right now, but essentially it's about uh, people living on the planet Earth and this catastrophic event happens. And um, when it happens, all the wealthy elite already know about it. And so they take off in their arc ships, leaving everybody else. Um, and most of them disappear off of the face of the planet from this event, but luckily there are some survivors and they band together, they create a clan and they're ready to get back at the people who left them behind. That's pretty cool. It sounds like some like Avatar The Last Airbender stuff. Like, so where do we find this? Totally, yeah. So you can find it at OceanBlackTV.com, um, our YouTube or our Instagram, OceanBlackTV or TikTok. Um, all the same, OceanBlackTV, just to keep it simple. Um, hopefully someday we'll be picked up by a network. We're shopping it around right now and then there'll be more to see. Right on. Just want to say thank you to anybody who's uh, donated to the convention. We have our silent auction, as always, at the convention. Many great bids. We've already raised over $1,000 for the convention via that. All of these funds that we raise go to supporting having a free convention every year. This convention is meant to be free. The people of Maui don't have enough free things to do that are family friendly. Everything usually costs money. So we want to make sure that there's a good family friendly option that enriches the community and enriches the, the people who are participating in it. The Maui Comic Con 501c3 nonprofit is a board run nonprofit. There's it, right now it's six members. Um, myself, I'm the president. Uh, Ken Gardner is the vice president. Uh, Kamiki Carter is the treasurer. Uh, Format. Jason David, uh, we call him Format, is the secretary. Um, Lynn Kiocho, uh, otherwise known as Night Darling, she runs the cosplay competition. You might know the Night Darling cosplay competition happens every year at the Maui Comic Con. We just finished the Keiki cosplay competition today. 
Uh, great turnout, great fun was had by all. And of course, our other board member, Francine Walraven, who was organizing the volunteers this year, she did a great job. All the help that we get is from volunteer help. So if you want to volunteer for the Maui Comic Con, please send us an email, mauicomiccon at gmail.com. If you want to donate to the Maui Comic Con, donations are accepted year round. Uh, it doesn't have to be monetary. We, you know, we'd love to, we have our silent auction. We auction off things all the time. A lot of the friends from the community give us pieces to, for our silent auctions and things like that. A lot of the artists will even give us original art and uh, we'll get original art from superstars like Frank Cho, Jeff Isherwood. Uh, this year, just to name them, Stan Sakai in the past, creator of Usagi Ojimbo has given us art. David Nakayama is always participating, providing us with things. We're, everybody who comes as a guest, headliner to local artist to anybody, they, we're very blessed because they, everybody understands the mission and is on board with us and, and tends to lend their support in any way they can. So if you want to support the Maui Comic Con, go ahead and visit MauiComicCon.com for more information. So we're here with Frank Cho. Frank, tell us what you're doing these days. Uh, a lot, actually. Uh, what do you want to know? Well, I mean, you're an amazing cover artist and illustrator, so like, what what books are you working on right now? Well, uh, I've done a bunch of covers for Marvel and DC Comics, uh, and I just finished uh, a Sherlock Holmes, illustrating a Sherlock Holmes novel by Bonnie McBird for HarperCollins, and I also just finished uh, Fight Girls for AWA Studios, which uh, we're hoping they'll get an option for a movie soon. So this isn't your first visit to Maui Comic Con, is it? No, actually, this is my second year. Uh, I'm good friends with Alika, the organizer of the show, and so I'm coming back next year. This is my go-to show every year. Dig it. Frank Cho, everyone. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. And this year, I want to say thank you to all our local artists who attended. Um, Joshua Skye, of course, is a writer for Netflix. We're very happy to have him. Uh, John Murakami, Todd Bernardi, DJ Cavicane, Wayne Lowe, uh, unfortunately, Canilla Trip called in sick. We had a few call-outs this year. Chris Carvalho from Mana Comics was supposed to be here. He's sick with COVID, unfortunately. Hope you get better, Chris. We, um, Sean Pactanak and uh, Momi Chu also were call-outs, but the rest of, everybody else was able to make it. Reed Kishimoto, Mark Gould, Art Wong, Sam Campos, creator of Pineapple Man, Connie Jollitz at our first convention ever, uh, Drew Gutierrez, Chris Lohman, Yuma Fuki, Now, Momi, uh, Chris Ventura, Lilia Kane, creator of uh, Naupaka, Polly Mermaid, Swan Kaho Okele, Lorenzo Trinidad, son of the legendary cartoonist Corky Trinidad, Lahela Schausler, Pancho Abalos, uh, Lucky Holland, um, Courtney Holland, of course, for the people who know her, Tara Sinai, and Rice and La Pena, both Gyotaku artists, which was great to see them having original Gyotaku art out there for sale. B. Mio, Bailey Onaga, Ocean Black, and of course Noble Richardson, otherwise known as Nobleisms. We are so grateful to all our local artists who came out and supported the event and, and uh, got to get their art into the community. Also want to give a shout out to some other young artists who debuted their comic here. Um, they, their, co their company is called Ounce Comics and their character is called uh, The Wombat. Very interesting comic, I, I got to meet with, with those guys. Um, they're actually from Las Vegas and they came to the Maui Comic Con for their debut of their comic. It's their first convention for their first comic ever and it was just an awesome experience to see how enthusiastic they were. But things like that are happening all the time at Maui Comic Con and, and we couldn't ask for more. So it, it just happens kind of naturally and, and we're so happy with it. We're here with Joseph and at Comic Con we got more than things than just comics. We've also got game developers. Tell us what you've been developing. I made a RPG on my own here on Maui. Been working on it for about three years, and it's pretty much it's going to be released episodically, and it's about pretty much done with the first act. So that's exciting. It's actually free. I just put it out for free because I wanted people on Maui to be able to try it for free. I might make it cost money later, but for the next month or so, I'll probably. So while it's free, where do we find it? I have it on Steam right now. Uh, it works on Windows and Mac, and it's also available on the Android Play Store. That's a little bit harder to find because Google tends to bury their content unless it's like really popular. So you'd probably have to jump on my Discord or something or shoot me an email, and then I can send you a link. Or you can actually just go to MauiGameStudio.com/Android. I guess you could remember that. 
and that'll put you in front of the Android game. But the Steam one is easy to find. Right on. So, like, what's what's the deal with the game? What's it about? So, it's kind of an interesting thing. It, it's got a very strong kung fu theme. Um, it's really not real kung fu. It's like kung fu movies in the 80s is a huge influence combined with, like, traditional RPGs. So, like, with a normal RPG, you'll have, like, a sword of truth or something, and you'll have to, like, uh, fight a dragon. In my game, it's like you get, like, a, like a Kaiser Claw and, you know, like a ninja dagger and a kunai. It's just kind of, it's like Naruto, which mixed with, like, samurais and other Chinese elements. So it's, it's across Asia, right? It's not, like, constrained to Japan or China or Korea. But I bring in a lot of those Asian influences and then put them into an RPG. And if you're from Hawaii, there's also a lot of little Hawaii Easter eggs for, like, the names of items and certain attacks. But nothing, like, overtly Hawaii that would just be like, look at us, we're from Hawaii, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but there is some Hawaii Easter eggs in there. Oh yeah, yeah. The game's called Familia. Right now, I have Familia Act One out for for free. That's the one we're talking about. The Maui Comic Con always depends on the generosity of its donors and sponsors. This year's major sponsors: the Platinum sponsor, Girdell Studios, for I think the third year in a row. Girdell Studios, thank you so much. We also had the Hexpress Maui doing the Maui Comic Con exclusive T-shirt. Uh, we sold out of all the smaller sizes, so we apologize, but we do still have the, the, big, the big shirts, 2X and up, 2X to 5X. If anybody's out there looking for a shirt, we still got those. Um, our other gold level sponsors, we gotta really show some uh, gratitude to them. Pukalani Superette, Maui Comics and Collectibles is my store, of course. Wailuku Coffee Company for always keeping us going with that coffee. Obachans, uh, the candy shop, you gotta appreciate Crack Seed on Maui. Uh, Manavakao, uh, Kavika Hoke and his uh, Rabbit Holes podcast for holding down on MC Inc. Thank you so much, Kavika, for everything. And of course, Cupies. Thank you so much for all of our sponsors. And, and we look forward to working with you guys all in the future. We've got so much cool local content from artists you bet you never knew, but you live right next door to. So get out there and be a little talk story. Thank you.